Enlightenment is a real and tangible solution. What we have noticed is people have come here to become enlightened. They have become enlightened, they have gone back to their homes. And enlightenment has naturally occurred in their homes to people who have not heard of the movement, who have not even heard of the word enlightenment. It is spreading. We find it is affecting uh, the family and in very many cases we find the family members naturally making it. In a majority of cases this is happening. That is why we are talking that 80,000 people make it. That is enough for mankind to transit into the new age. What will happen to the world order after enlightenment? This transformation is not going to bring down our civilization and to take us back to the stone age. Certainly we are going to have all the good things that man has created over the last several centuries. But then it, certain things could go out of business like the defense industry for example. But uh, because uh, enlightenment is going to spread across the globe, including those who own these businesses, I think they'll find better avenues to uh, earn money and to spend their money more usefully. I think there's no danger from them because they would be enlightened themselves. If they were not enlightened, a definitive danger is there. But since they too are going to be enlightened, whether they like it or not, so there's not going to be much trouble. Awakened one does not compete or compare. The unawakened one competes and compares. Being judgmental is the cause of suffering. Sri Bhagavan Sri Bhagavan's Coats Relationships are, the index of our life. What you see outside is, only a reflection of your relationship, with yourself. Sri Bhagavan Sri Bhagavan, what is perfection? The spiritual person realizes the only thing you could be perfect at is being oneself. Secrets of Success Sri Bhagavan says, The pleasant, 
and the painful experiences you have gone through in your early life becomes your future reference point. Namaste. Let us see Sri Paramjyoti Bhagwati Bhagwan's miracle for the day. I am Padmavati from Eluru, West Godavari district. We conduct regular satsangs at our home and many people attend the satsangs. Towards the end of the satsang, we offer collective prayers for solving individual problems of the participants. One such participant devotee was Lakshmiji who was suffering from severe financial problems. We collectively prayed for her. At the end of the prayer, Sri Paranjyoti Bhagwati Bhagwan guided her to start a mobile tiffin center. But she had absolutely no money on hand and was worried. With Sri Paranjyoti's grace, financial help came to her from all sides including me and her business as guided by Sri Paranjyoti Bhagwati Bhagwan successfully got launched on wheels. At home, she was using a grinder to prepare wet flour, which often gave electric shocks for some unidentified reason. One day, she complained to her husband of the hardship and accused him of not giving due attention to this oft-repeated problem. Her husband came there immediately and tried to identify the problem. In the process, he touched the grinder and was subjected to an electric shock. He got stuck to the grinder and was shaking from head to foot. Lakshmiji instantly tried to pull him out and she too suffered an electric shock. The couple were now stuck to the grinder and were being subjected to electric shocks. They were shaking all this while and finally were rendered unconscious. There was no one there to help them since Lakshmiji's mother-in-law and son were in another part of the house watching television. They were absolutely unaware that such an accident had taken place in another part of the house. There was however a Srimurti in the room and then happened the extraordinary miracle. Electric connection to the grinder got switched off on its own. The connecting wire got unplugged. The grinder got pushed aside and the couple fell to the floor, detached from the grinder, gasping heavily for breath. It was a mystic hand, totally invisible, that came to their rescue. A little later, we arrived at the place on receiving a phone call and were shocked at the scene. Lakshmiji, slowly recovering from the trauma, gasping for breath, was narrating the incident. Tears rolled down our cheeks and we told Lakshmiji that Sri Paramjyoti Bhagwati Bhagwan had saved their lives today. Words are inadequate to express the loving care of Sri Paramjyoti towards their hapless devotees. Countless thanks and pranams at the lotus feet of the compassionate Sri Paramjyoti Bhagwati Bhagwan for giving a new birth to the couple. We humbly pray. Jai Bolo, Raksha Pradata, Shri Param Jyoti Bhagwati Bhagwan Ki Jai. Kal Ki Seva Sangha Everyday Kal Ki Seva Sangha volunteers carry out various service activities across hundreds of locations all over the country. Everyday we present one such activity. Kakinada, Andhra Pradesh Fulfillment is possible only when you help the other. On the auspicious occasion of Vasant Panchami, Kakinada Sangha members distributed books to all the students at Srinagar School and Parivartana Orphanage in Baskanagar. Sangha members spent some time with the children and prayed for their successful life. All 
the children felt joyous for the care and concern from the sangha members and thanked them sangha members expressed their gratitude to kalki for the seva bhagya to reach the needy ಿ ದಾಟಿ ಕುಂಕಿಟನೆ ನಿಲಚಿನ ಆನಂದ ಶ್ರೋಯ 